So the only thing all over our Twitter timelines is that Polygon has launched a ZK EVM. And to understand this better, we got Ananda, who's our senior associate content. Thanks for joining us. Ananda. Thanks, Anima. Thanks for having me. I really wanted to talk about this, so thanks for having me. Amazing. So my first question to you, Ananda, is what is ZK EVM? Please uh, elaborate on this abbreviation. Sure. See, if I were to unabbreviate ZK EVM, I will just talk about two terms: ZK, ZK rollups, and EVM, EVM compatibility. These are the two things we should be interested in. If I were to give you some context, this means it's a top of the line scaling solution which can help people around Ethereum or everybody who wants to build something on Ethereum do it faster with Polygon's help. That's it. All right. So basically, what you're saying is. Whatever you're building on Ethereum, you can build on Polygon yes. because of this. Yes. So let's understand this better. What is EVM? Yeah. See, I will just start with an example. If you are to talk about EVM, like I, you, everyone around has a soul. EVM is just like Ethereum soul. As we know, like Ethereum is a decentralized ecosystem. Just for once, let us forget it. It's a blockchain. It's for protocol. Just forget all these things. Imagine this as a software development platform. We build stuff on Ethereum. We build an application. We build a decentralized application. We might want to build a uh, like a proper phone-based application on Ethereum. But for that, we need a good environment to build. We need a software-supported uh, uh, environment, and that is the soul of Ethereum, which is given by EVM. And now the EVM compatibility comes is that if you can build something on Ethereum, an app or anything, you can build it faster with Polygon cell because Polygon is EVM compatible. That means the soul that Ethereum has, Polygon also has that same soul. And just for a trivia or enlightenment sort of a thing, Binance Smart Chain also has that soul. It is also EVM compatible. That is what EVM compatibility is all about. Amazing. This is like the best news for builders because they seem perfectly in sync, Polygon and exactly. Ethereum, and exactly. uh, perfectly transferable. Exactly. So, okay, we've got an EVM out of the way, yep. but what about ZK, what is that? Yes, that's the most technical thing that uh, Polygon has done for a while. If I were to talk about ZK rollup, ZK stands for zero knowledge. The technology behind the ZK EVM is ZK rollups because many platforms are EVM compatible. EVM compatibility is not a feature per se, it's a trait, okay? Like this, that is EVM compatible, that is EVM compatible. But what gives this update a heft is the ZK rollup. This means you can bundle all the transactions or bundle all the smart contract details or whatever. And you can push it to Polygon in a way that it gets processed faster. And zero knowledge means you don't have to reveal your identity. You can get authenticated while being anonymous. That's zero knowledge and that's rollup. So anonymity and rollups means bundled and sending out the transactions at once. That's okay, it. so just to confirm that I've yes. understood this clearly. Yes, yes. ZK roller basically means you're bundling all the transactions yes. together. Yes. Right? That's oversimplifying it and it's yes. Okay, great. ZK VM uh, roll up where you can send any transaction the same way that our construction today, normal transaction, you send to a roll up and everything works. So, okay, we have ZK roll up under the bed, but like my question is why do we need to roll these yes, up in the first place? Yes. Case? I will give you another example. Suppose you have some coins in your hand okay. and if you want to throw the coins at once without making it like making a sound, you simply cannot hold all these coins and throw because they will like scatter. Right. So what you can do, you can wrap it up in a paper and then you can throw it. That won't make a sound and that will reach it like that will reach the place like very conveniently without me. That's why we roll up stuff okay. so that it moves faster. We don't have to push one coin at a time just to avoid the sound and that will speeden up your uh, entire transaction thing and you just have to send one transaction and every detail is rolled within it. That's why we roll stuff up. Okay, wow, I really love this analogy about throwing coins and what all. But, um, so is there a way to like automate this? Like how does that work? Yeah, it works like suppose, and now we'll come to a bit uh, on smart contracts. What happens when you build an app, anything, it's all code, anything. Like we all know, like coders do a lot of stuff. They build some good apps. And those codes in the blockchain are known as chunk of codes and known as smart contracts. You can automate them. So what do you do? Like EVM was already, ZK EVM was already existent in 2021. Polygon ZK EVM made it move further away from just the transaction module. So what happened is that if you want to build something, if you want to push a smart contract out, 
you can push multiple smart contracts and send it to Polygon and it will process everything for you because it's bundled. That's the fun of ZK rollups. Okay, so I think we've understood smart contracts too. It's basically you like automating certain transactions using code. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Understood. So, um, you know, also on Twitter, I read that Polygon's getting attacked saying that um, this has now become an L1, L1. Um, platform and so yes. on. So, is, there a, is, is it becoming Ethereum's competitor in this process? <laughs> Not exactly, Arunima. See, it's those conflicts and those comments are completely placeless because the Polygon's tech is ZK EVM. EVM means Ethereum Virtual Machine. If they were to become Ethereum's competitor and not an ally, they would have shunned that name and given it some other name. It's still, at, if you want to create something on Ethereum, because we all know Ethereum has its limitations, it's kind of sluggish at times, high transactions like gas fees and all. You can just do the same thing with Polygon cell better, faster, quicker and with more scalability and cheaper as well, which is more important. So that is what, it's not a competitor, it's still an ally, it's still a level 2, it's still layer 2 and it still wants to assist Ethereum and it will still make sense once Ethereum gets upgraded to proof of stake. Okay, so they perfectly coexist. It's not yes, like one is exactly. eating into another. Exactly. So they're not competitors. No. Great. So okay, we've understood all of this. Now, what does this actually mean for coin switch users? <laughs> See, before we go, how this will benefit the coin switch users? I want to add a certain thing here. Is that all the data that is being processed by ZK EVM, the provenance, how the data has moved, will still be on Ethereum. You have to know that. And this helps with the interoperability of chains and the vision of one blockchain. So it's beneficial for both Ethereum and it's beneficial for both Matic. If you are building something, you are planning to build something on Ethereum, an app, not a fun app you have for Twitter followers, whatever, whatever is in your mind, whatever you can envision. You can build it on Ethereum and you can build it on Polygon faster. That's what the news is for builders, for investors. It's, it might be good news, just stay tuned for our price analysis on that. Amazing. I think I've learned so much about ZK EVM and I think Funda will be clear. Ho gaya. Yes. So thanks a lot, Ananda. Pleasure is all mine. Pleasure is all mine. Great. So to all the viewers of Coinswitch Kubir, keep following us for the latest news in the crypto world.